Hello the internet! It is Saturday the 2nd of February 2019 and this is the way I would be talking and the direction I'd be walking if I was going for my wave a day. But a wave a day has finished and wow the ocean is massive right now. It's probably a good thing a wave a day is concluded because I don't think I would be uh, suited to those conditions. Instead, you see that homebrew over there? I want to open it. Cheers! This is an amber ale from Cooper's and it is fantastic. A wave a day concluded. Today's the 2nd of February. Yesterday being the 1st of February, I actually went surfing. I went social surfing is what I'm calling, it's kind of what I'm calling anytime I go surfing now outside of a wave a day project that's going to be called social surfing. And I went surfing with a friend of mine, Boris, who you've seen on the vlog before. So I want to show you some of that footage because we had a great wave at the southern end of Kolbara Beach. But before we look at that footage, I want to talk about when I got stung by a stingray. And I guess I've just been too busy with the wave a day to get to that story. So, one second. I do love my home brew. Hey, by the way, collared shirt today, stream day. Every Saturday at 9 a.m. I stream and I wear a collared shirt just to be a little bit more presentable. And on the stream, we talked about home brew. We talked about LG. The electronics company getting into the home brew game and this thing that they're coming out with looks really really cool i would love to talk with lg about some kind of endorsement or trial or review in the meantime i'm going to just top my uh top mine up here oh yeah look at that beauty doesn't that look amazeballs you know what's most amazing about home brew is that I made it and you can make your own, you know, like it's not like you you're outside It's hot summer day. You crack a beer and you're like, I really like this beer. That's all well and true But it's really really amazing when you can say I Really really like this beer that I made Yeah, all right, so the stingray well, I vlogged it on the day So how about we let the content I made as it happened? dictate this story. So this is going to jump back to the beginning of the year, January 1, at a beach called Abraham's Bosom Beach, a packed beach with holiday makers on the first day of the year, and I got stung by a stingray. Cue the footage. Well, here's a first for me. I got stung by a stingray. Bound to happen eventually. Look at this. Not the best thing, but a good thing about this is that the barb is not in there any longer. But I did see a little, like, about this big, probably about a foot, in diameter and really light brown color and it was right near where we were standing and then when i walked away i just felt an, a massive massive pain straight in my toe felt like a crab had latched onto me and wasn't letting go it's been half an hour since the sting and it is really really painful comes in and out like waves it's like feels like someone's sticking a needle straight in my foot and there's a bit of white pus it's not a fun fun experience i can tell you now this is a little tiny little sandy stingray nothing the size of what happened to mr steve Irwin. he got stung like hundreds of times by like an eight foot thing oh, i can't imagine what he would have felt like <laughs> i just did some reading and it said it this the pain peaks between an hour to two hours and has gone to get some hot water hot water apparently helps it oh my god all right, here's some topical treatment, some hot water. The hotter the water, the less pain you feel. It's just too hot to put finger in. Yeah. It's either the pain stopping or I'm burning my toe and I can't feel the stingray pain. <laughs> it's an hour since the sting. It's much, much, much better. The pain is a lot less. The contraction waves is... Yeah, we're talking about it as if it was a baby. There's less contract, or there's a bigger gap between each contraction. Hot water really, really helps. Oh yeah, and this is certainly helping. German beer for an Aussie sting. <laughs> it is now an hour and a half post sting incident. I can 100% say I'm totally back to normal. There's no pain at all. It's completely subsided. I can touch my foot, no, no dramas. Uh, we used all the water. That's the thing, the hot water worked really, really well. So if you do happen to be at a beach in Australia and you get stung by a Steve Irwin stingray, get the hot water as hot as you can handle. We had two cups of boiling water and one cup of cold water and I can, I put a little bit in each. But the hotter the, the hotter one was the better one. And I've had one, one German beer and I'm having a Spanish beer and I think the crisis is over. How about that stingray story? You ever been stung by a stingray? Ever had that happen? First time in my life. I find that intriguing. Look at these waves. 
Yeah, I find that very um, uh, statistically uh, inaccurate. No, st I find that statistically intriguing that it's taking, it's taken this long in my life to get stung by a stingray. That's, that's what blew me away by that. It should have happened a long time ago. Now that I know what it's like, and I can impart that information onto you. Let me just say, if you do get stung and you have somewhat of a high tolerance to pain, just know that the pain won't last forever. And if you can spot that the barb didn't stay in your skin, my advice is just to get some hot water and bear the pain. Because as you saw, within an hour and a half and within two hours, I was back up having a beer, cruising around like nothing had happened. So it's not a life-threatening illness, of course, Depends where you get stung. Old mate Steve Irwin copped one into the chest and that ain't the best place to have it. Yeah, well. Miss the old crocodile hunter, don't we? He was a funny man. Yeah, so if, you, if that happens to you, just get ready for a little bit of pain. It's not gonna last forever. I think I need some uh, more brewski in the glasky here ski. So tasty. All right, so yesterday's surf with Boris. I vlogged it, of course. How about we let the content speak for itself? Man, these conditions are amazing. Look at this. It's really, really large, but it's also, I feel like it's within my, um, get out of there. It's within my limits to go out there and I could, I could take these left and rights. Anyway, let's cut to yesterday's footage. I'm gonna have more surfing on the channel as it happens to roll, you know? Like, as I go surfing, you're coming with me. Maybe not every time, but nearly every time. This is the first time I've traveled to go surfboard riding. It's the day after Waver Day has finished. It is the 1st of February, 2019. And I have Boris with me. Hey, Boris. Good morning. You may remember Boris from previous vlogs, skateboarding. Actually, when I did my elbow injury, a year ago, that's the last time you would have seen Boris. We are actually going surfboard riding this morning. Life is better when you surf. This is my social surfing, if you like. First time I've been surfing with anybody, and it happens to be Boris. Thanks for taking me surfing, Boris. No problem. We have a look at the board Boris has got. Blackfish from modern. You'd think that we've organized this, but we haven't. That's completely random. Boris rides a modern as well. Let's go social surfing. On another day, another week, in another year I'm sailing with another me and another you and another we are waving at another place at another time. That was a fun first ride. Not a lot of power, but it took me all the way to the beach. This is the southern end of Colbara Beach. First day of February, and it is a little bit cold today. It's like 19 degrees. I wish I had some kind of um, wetsuit material. I'm on that edge of just a little bit nippy. I'm not sailing, I'm not waiting, I'm not sailing, I'm not waiting, I'm not sailing, I'm not waiting. Look good. 
surfing alone. We were the only two surfers out there but it still felt crowded. <laughs> and that surf happened right here. All the way down to the southern end of the beach, bam, right down there. That's where those waves occurred. Can I do, can I take a surf on today's vlog as well as including yesterday's surf? I can't handle this any longer. I'm, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out for a wave. It's too good. Oh that's um, we're out of time! I keep running out of time on my own vlog. I probably should get that checked out, right? Hey, if you like what you've seen here on this channel and you want to become a giver and you want to contribute maybe financially, the description field of this video has plenty of ways to do that. And if you want to be a giver on any other level, please consider subscribing or watching my previous vlog or a random vlog, or you could even become a Patreon of mine right here. What's that? Yeah, yeah, we've got a bit of time. Yeah, I've got more time, can't believe it. Let's just chill out here while we've got time. You got time? I've got time. We've all got time.